Hello there. Many of us were chasing cloud amounts around on Monday, but the thickest cloud that brought some rain at times, well, that was reserved for the far northwest of Scotland. Let's take a look at this weather watch picture from Highland around at lunchtime on Monday. The best of the breaks in the cloud, the best of the sunshine and the warmth, well, that was in Kent in the southeast, 24 Celsius, 75 Fahrenheit. And it looks likely that that weather pattern will stay with us for a few days. High pressure is trying to build in from the southwest, toppling across the high of these weather fronts, and that will always continue to introduce a little bit more cloud and some showery outbreaks of rain as the afternoon continues into western Scotland and Northern Ireland. The cloud thick enough for some misty, damp conditions across west facing coasts of Wales and southwest England. So, the best of the sunshine, certainly further east, and that's where the best of the warmth will be once again. 23, 24 degrees, not out of the question in the southeast corner. That bodes well for Wimbledon. I suspect it's going to be another day a fine, dry, sunny weather, very pleasant for both players and for spectators. But it does mean where we've got the best of the sunshine. We're still looking at pretty high, if not very high, pollen across the majority of England and Wales and even into southern Scotland as well. Let's look further ahead. Not that much in the way of change in actual fact. This weather front will bring more significant rain on Tuesday into Wednesday, but it will also allow for some more warmth and more humidity develop, to, particularly in the far southeast corner. So we start to see those temperatures perhaps widely into the mid-20s, maybe eventually getting a little bit higher. There'll be some nuisance rain just clinging onto the far northwest of Scotland, more cloud along those west-facing coasts once again. England and Wales seeing the best of the sunshine and again the best of the warmth. So we can't rule out 24 or 25 degrees. That's 77 Fahrenheit. We're almost stuck in repeat mode because as we move towards the end of the working week, that high pressure is still with us, still sitting out to the southwest. So it shouldn't get too extremely hot, but we still have the risk of weather fronts toppling across that high and still producing the risk of more cloud in the north. But at the same time, temperatures are likely to peak into the high 20s and there's a lot of dry weather to look out for. Take care.